He's right there. He's 30 yards away. Welcome back to one of the most beautiful maps in Call of the Wild, the Yukon Valley of Alaska. Now, I told you the Great Wolf was one of the most elusive carnivores out here, but there's also another very, very dangerous predator, and that's going to be the grizzly bear. We're going to be going after him today with the 12 gauge loaded with slugs. Now these grizzly bear are big. You're talking some of the big boar can get all the way up to 1500 pounds. That's an absolute giant grizzly bear. So we're going to have to get close. We're going to have to get within 100 yards away. I do not want to take a shot past 100 yards. Also, they're very active early in the morning and late at night. So we got to get out there early and try and see if we can't catch them on the way to some of their feeding spots. All right, guys, we've got us on our first grizzly here. It looks like we have a sow trotting through here. She's coming over here to try and get some feed and she should be going down there somewhere where there's a sow there definitely potentially could be a big boar. Well, we followed her for a little ways up this ridge here and here she is feeding at about 150 yards out from us. Now there's no sign of any big male or any big boar grizzlies around. So I think we're gonna have to continue on and try and find another spot, but it's still pretty cool to see her out here feeding. They are such a majestic beast of an animal. They really are something else. Apparently that's all we had to do is take down a bull caribou and we found ourselves a really decent boar grizzly bear out here. It's a big male about 300 yards away from us. We have a perfect wind. We're going to try and sneak along the edge of this riverbank here and try and tuck underneath some of these pines right about there. That's what I was worried about. They're done feeding and now they're kind of wandering off on their own. That boar is still out there though. And what do we... Holy... There are so many grizzly bear. I think that's a female small boar. That's actually a really good boar right there. That's going to be the biggest one. So if we can get there in time, I definitely want to try and get that one down right there. Well, it seems like he's still there. Now, a lot of times the big boar are pretty stubborn. All the other grizzly bear did trot off, but he's just sitting there drinking away. He has no reason to leave. He's kind of the alpha in the area. So he's just going to sit there until he feels like he's ready to leave. Basically is what's going to happen. Okay guys, it looks like we have a change of plans. This big grizzly is coming right towards us here. We gotta tuck in some brush and get ready because he is coming out. I don't know if he's hungry for us or what, but he is definitely coming. There he is, there he is, there he is. He's right there. He's 80 yards away, he's 80 yards away. Let's get ready, let's get ready. He just went behind that tree. There he is, there he is. There he is. <laughs> Smoked him. This shot looked awesome, guys. That could potentially be our first big grizzly down with the 12 gauge. And he's down! Let's go get him! Let's go get him! Our first grizzly with the 12 gauge! And here he is, right here. Let's take a really cool picture of him. What are the odds of this? There was like five different grizzly bear out there, including two different boar. They all wandered off except for him. Luckily enough for us, like I thought, he's the big alpha and he basically had no reason to leave, but then... He's like, you know what? I think I'm gonna leave now, but I'm not gonna go that direction. I'm gonna go this direction because I'm big and I'm the alpha. And that's what he did. But guess what? We were there and we cut him off and we took him. That's gonna be a 60 scoring grizzly bear. Ended up getting a right lung liver stomach shot at 68 yards out on the walk. A pretty awesome shot, decent penetration considering 68 yards is, you know, not a super close shot for a slug to go through a grizzly bear like that. And uh, the fact that we got more than a single vital is pretty incredible to me. Ended up getting 60 and he actually didn't miss goal by much. 60.8 is golden. He scored 60. So that's pretty sweet. Our first grizzly bear down with the 12 gauge and the slugs. So here's where we got that really nice male grizzly bear. We're over here by the Frontier Visa, which is on the very north end of the map here. And that big boar grizzly was right here, about 200 yards away. We ended up taking him down at about 7.15 in the morning. Take a look right there. We got eyes on another really nice boar out there, about 237 yards. And there's another boar right there as well. Okay, so we have to cross this bridge. We're gonna have a pretty good win, so I'm not worried about that, but... What I am worried about is making too much noise. These things have incredible ears, so if we get too close to them, they could definitely hear us. The good thing is we'll be able to use these really tall spruce trees here for some cover. So we'll just kind of keep these trees between us and him and ease our way over there. There's a little opening maybe 100 yards in front of us, and from that opening right there, in fact, I think that's the opening right there, 
um we should be roughly 150 out so we'll try and get a little bit closer at that point all right guys so we're actually way closer than i thought if you look right there you can see some movement that's a grizzly bear i think that's actually the smaller of the two but he's only about 56 yards away from us right there i think the big one is actually on the right side right behind this tree right behind this spruce tree right there we're gonna have to get even closer unless i can shift over to the right more but if we do that we're not gonna have a good wind so we really don't have a choice we basically gotta go prone get to about 40 yards out from both these grizzly bear which is not a very good idea at this point we really don't have a choice this tree should give us some pretty good cover it's a huge spruce tree and i think we should crouch up and be able to see pretty decent it's 40 yards away I really don't like this angle though. Even with the 12 gauge of the slugs, you really don't want to take that much of a quartering shot. It's like more than three quarters quartering. So we're going to try and score up a little bit more. See if we can't get more broadside on them. But man, I can't believe we got to 40 yards away. Okay guys, we might have a change of plans here. We got a big boar right on top of us. He's 20 yards away. The problem is, the biggest boar is right there 46 yards away i know we're doing a 12 gauge hunt but if we drop this boar that other one might not spook <sighs> gotta make a perfect shot <laughs> We got him, we got him, we got him. <laughs> we did it! We just made two incredible shots. I think we just dropped that second boar. I didn't see him run. Oh man, let's go take a look. I think he's down. He's down! He's down! We just doubled up. This first one we took with the bow, and I think we made a heart shot at about 20 yards away. And we did make a heart shot, a perfect heart shot at 22 yards out. And that, in fact, saved us the opportunity to go over here and take this big boar down with the 12 gauge and the slugs as he stood up at about 40 yards away and made another perfect heart shot at 44 yards out. Absolutely centered the heart and caught the left lung. And we managed to get a gold 60.8. Grizzly bear out of that hunt right there. Incredible. 44.8 yards away with the 12 gauge slugs. And our second grizzly bear down with the 12 gauge and the slugs. So we're actually at one of my favorite spots for grizzly bear. I've seen a couple of good mythicals over here and that's actually um, by the green shore rise. There's an outpost right here. Basically it's called the hunter's den and you just go south quite a ways. I don't really think there's another outpost in this area but there could be. Basically what I would do is set up a tent right here and kind of come over to this bridge and we're right off this bridge maybe 150 yards away right here at about six o'clock in the morning and we just took down both boar grizzly right here big boar big boar that's a huge grizzly bear right there he's about 150 yards out from us he's definitely our biggest grizzly we've seen so far let's try and figure out what we're gonna do here though he's kind of on the open there's one little patch of brush right between us and him and i think that's pretty much all we have for cover if you look closely here you can see that's it we're gonna have to go across this wide open meadow here just to get all the way over to that brush and we're only going to have that one little patch of brush between us and him well guys there's a little change of plans here because we just spotted this right before us and that huge boar it's another really really solid boar it's a big boar as well but he's not as big as the one that we're trying to get the problem is he's between us and him so what are we supposed to do the big boar is actually right behind him there's no way I'm going to be able to make a heart shot at 87 yards. 
So I think we're going to try and work our way around and see if we can't get there undetected. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to have to take this shot. We're 70 yards out from this big boar here. Got the bow. That shot looked incredible. And it was because we dropped him. No way. I can't believe we dropped him at 70 yards with the bow. That worked out so perfect. Because that big boar grizzly bear is right on the backside here. There he is. He's 130 yards away right there. That's our seven. Our bear is piled up right here. And the big boar is right there. 130 yards away from us. It honestly couldn't have worked out any better. What an incredible shot with the bow. Wow. I definitely want to take a picture of this because that was a really cool moment. I don't want to spend a ton of time, but that was a pretty incredible moment right there. And we'll take another cool picture. All right. Let's definitely go prone because we don't want to spook that big boar. But that's going to be a 72 yard double long heart shot. 61.5 gold grizzly bear. What an incredible shot with the bow. Just clipped the top of the heart, double lung and liver at 72 yards and a big old boar down indeed. But that's not the one we're looking for. The biggest boar is right here. Right there. All right. So we're about a hundred yards out from this huge boar. We don't have a good angle. We're gonna have to get broadside on him or something because I don't know how we're gonna do it, but we gotta make something happen. All right, we got some pretty good cover here and we should be pretty close to this grizzly bear. Oh my God, he's right there. He's 30 yards away. He's pretty broadside, 30 yards away right there. I think we're gonna go for the shot. Hold it around that front shoulder. Should definitely go and take that shot. <sighs> Should have been a perfect double long shot. And he's down! He's down! We got him! He's down right there! <gasps> I was watching him run over the ridge and I thought, oh man, that thing is not going down. And all of a sudden he got past this little uh, ridge right here and he went down. That's going to be our biggest grizzly bear of the entire hunt right there. And we took him down with a 12 gauge and the slugs. And I want to take a really cool picture of this guy. I'll take a screenshot of him because it's pretty dark right now, but that should look pretty cool just like that. And let's pick him up and see what he's going to be. He's going to score 62.3. We ended up getting, oh my God, only a single lung shot at 32 yards. That's how tough these things are. A single lung at 32 yards with a 12 gauge. We didn't even hit the shoulder blade and we barely got enough penetration to get a single lung. So that's why these big old boar, honestly, I wouldn't even recommend taking a shot past like 50 yards with a 12 gauge, but that's a huge boar, 62.3. And he ended up weighing 1100 pounds. And that's our biggest grizzly ever with the 12 gauge and the slugs. What an incredible hunt, and that was one tough, big old smart boar. We finally ended up getting close to him, and we took him down at 32 yards away. Alright guys, so let me show you where we got that huge boar from before we head over to the trophy lodge here. And honestly, we're just a little bit to the north where we got those last two. Like I said, we're um, maybe 500 yards out from where we got that double. Uh, perfect heart shot with the bow and a perfect heart shot with the 12 gauge slug. We actually have a tent set up right here. And let me back up here a little bit so you can see. Green Shore Rise is right here. We're just south of that and they are feeding right here at about 6.30 in the morning. I thought we'd come back to our trophy lodge because we had to get this grizzly mounted. He is one of the biggest grizzlies we've gotten all day. A 62.8 and they're so tough and so elusive. I honestly can't believe the fact that we got 30 yards away and only got a single lung on this grizzly. 
with the 12 gauge. Well, that was the farthest shot we took was 86 yards, I think. So at this point, there's no way I would take further than like a 50 yard shot. No way. Because honestly, when I first took that shot on this bear at 30 yards away and I saw him running away, once I saw him get past that little bridge there, I thought, okay, that bear's not going down. Because 30 yards, if you get double lung, there's no way that grizzly is going to go past like 50 yards from you. And he made it to about 60, 70 yards. And finally he tipped over and I was like, oh, we got him. What an incredible hunt this has been. And I hope you guys try out the 12 gauge on the grizzly bear as well. Anyways, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.